We all know that we need to have security software on our computers to help keep us secure. But what about the Microsoft antivirus software? Is that enough? Well, in today's video, we're going to look at the free Microsoft antivirus software. Plus, we're going to delve into another Microsoft product, an advanced product called Defender for Endpoint. But before we start, a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards, and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT company called Integral IT. And we help businesses all over the world with their IT support, their cyber security, and their Microsoft 365. Now, I was wondering before we start if you could do me a quick favor. If you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. Now, I'm sure you will all agree, whether you're a home user with a single computer, or you've got a business with over a thousand computers, that one of the most basic forms of cybersecurity is to have some kind of security software or antivirus installed on our computers. But even in those years that I've been in IT, cyber threats have changed significantly. But so too has the sophistication of the security software we need to protect ourselves. Can you remember those days when you buy a new computer and then you buy a 12 month subscription to Norton or McAfee and you just install them and let them run the background. I hope you still don't do that. It's fair to say that cyber criminals are one thing, they're very good at the jobs. So we need to stay one step ahead of them all of the time. And a crucial part of our cyber security is the security software installed on our computers. With all these big complicated terms flying around like antivirus, ransomware protection, endpoint detection and response, vulnerability management, what does it all mean? But crucially, what does your business need to stay protected? Well, today I'm going to introduce you to a few of those complicated terms, but I'm going to try and explain them in an easy to follow way so you can get an understanding. But today also, we're going to focus on Microsoft. Now, over 1 million businesses worldwide use Microsoft 365 as their weapon of choice. They use it for collaboration like Exchange, Teams, SharePoint, but Microsoft 365 also has has security built into it. So we're gonna look at that product and see if it's a good fit for your business. So it is that time again. Strap yourself in, get yourself a cup of tea, and let's get stuck in. So to start with, I'm gonna talk about something called Windows Defender Antivirus. Now, if you go to the shop and you buy a new computer, whether that's for a home or for a business, you will get something built in called Windows Defender Antivirus. You don't have to pay for it, it's completely free of charge. And when you switch your computer on, it will start running in the background. So this is Microsoft's own security software. And to be honest, over the years, it's taken a little bit of a bashing, perhaps unfairly so. So with that in mind, what does Windows Defender Antivirus include? Now to start with, it includes protection against malware. So what is malware? Well, malware is created by naughty people. And these naughty people want to try and disrupt you. They want to try to destroy your data. They want to try and take over your computer, all with the aid of eventually trying to steal money from you. So they create malware and they try to get it installed on your computer. So protection against malware is software running on your computer that hopefully can spot that malware and deal with it. Now secondly, Windows Defender Antivirus includes protection against ransomware. Now not a lot of people know that, but Windows Defender Antivirus recently achieved top marks from a company called AV Test. I wonder what they do, AV Test. Yes, they test AV solutions, but they recently recently tested Windows Defender Antivirus and they gave it top marks for their protection against ransomware. Now, if you run a business, you might be sat there thinking, that's great, Windows Defender Antivirus, it's completely free. What is not to love? Well, the question I'm gonna ask you back is, is Defender Antivirus enough or do you need more? Well, in my opinion, you need more. And Microsoft just happened to agree with me because they've got an advanced product for securing your computers and that is called Defender for Endpoint. Now, as with everything with Microsoft, they don't just create a product, they like to create different plans. And Defender for Endpoint is no different. It comes in three different flavors. And the flavor that you choose depends on the size of your business. Now, if your business has got fewer than 300 employees, then you're gonna go for a product called Defender for Business. Now, Defender for Business is £2.30 per license per month. And that price is based on a 12-month commitment. But I've got some really cool information 
section here. Defender for Business comes included with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So Microsoft 365 Business Premium is £16.60 per user per month. But you get so much for your £16.60. You get your email, your SharePoint, your Teams, you get other security software and you get Defender for Business. So that is a product that I recommend. So what happens if you've got more than 300 users? Well, you can't have Defender for Business. You've got to have either Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 or Plan 2. Plan 1 is £2.30 per month and Plan 2 is £3.90. Now, if we look at the table of what's included, you can see that Defender for Business is really good value. Once you start getting into Plan 1, Plan 2, then you don't get as many features with Plan 1, but it's the same price. Now, you might be looking at these table of features and thinking, I don't know what all these features mean. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's your lucky day because I'm going to pick out a few of these features and I'm going to try and explain them in simple terms. Now, firstly, there's centralized management. So Defender for Endpoint really builds on the free antivirus offered by Microsoft. If you've got a business with 20 computers, you can manage the security of all your computers within the Microsoft 365 admin portal. Now, imagine if you didn't have that. You'd have to go around to each computer to monitor and manage. So from a management point of view, it integrates and it's much more simple. And one of the big advantages of using Defender Endpoint rather than a third-party solution like Sophos or Bitdefender is that Sophos or Bitdefender is another pane of glass. That's what we call it in our industry. It's another portal. So you're managing some things in Microsoft 365, but then you've got to switch over to this portal to manage others. That single pane of glass just helps. Then there's a feature called Vulnerability Management. So what is this? Well, if we think of a, a person who is vulnerable, it means they have a weakness in a certain area. And that's what it means when it comes to computers. So going back to our analogy that you've got 20 computers in your business, two of those computers might have Google Chrome installed, but it's a really old version. So that would be a vulnerability to your business. You might have five of those computers that are running Windows 10, but it's an old version. Again, that's a vulnerability to your business. So wouldn't it be helpful if you could see all these vulnerabilities on one screen? Well, with vulnerability management in Defender for Empire, Point, you can. And then in Defender for Endpoint, there's a feature called Attack Surface Reduction. What is that? Well, an attack surface is all the areas that your business could be vulnerable to a cyber attack. So it makes sense if we can reduce the attack surfaces, meaning that your business has less risk to a cyber attack. So wouldn't it be really good if you could put some rules in your place that every computer had to follow? We could put a rule in place to make sure that no computers allowed the use of USB storage devices because they're not very secure. We could put another rule in place to make sure that nobody in your business could browse to adult websites. We could enable something in your business called controlled folder access to help reduce the risk of ransomware. So these three rules, for example, are reducing your attack surface. There's other rules we can put in place just to reduce the chances of you getting a cyber attack. Now there's another feature in Defender for Endpoint called Endpoint Detection and Response. Now that's a bit of a mouthful. So it's often shortened to just EDR. Now EDR is a bit of a new kid on the block, but it's growing annually at over 25%. So what does it do? Now EDR will sit on each of your computers and it will continuously check in order to detect and respond to cyber threats like malware and ransomware. Now you might be sat there thinking, well, what's the difference between EDR and just normal antivirus? Now cyber threats over the years have become much more sophisticated. Just when we think we're getting ahead of these cyber criminals, they think of different ways that they can attack us. So what they've done in recent years is create malware that traditional antivirus just can't detect. So we need something stronger. We need to keep evolving to spot these new threats. So EDR does provide much better protection against modern day threats. But the key thing is EDR does need managing. You can't just buy a Microsoft 365 license and it work in the background. You've got to have a security conscious IT provider monitoring and managing it for you. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you get all these great features within Microsoft 365 Business Premium. So at £16.60, it's really worth it. If you do have more than 300 users, then you've got to go for Plan 1 or Plan 2. The most comparable version to Defender in Microsoft 365 Business Premium is the Plan 2, but it's a big jump in price. So if you're a small business, 
Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that's given you a little bit of an intro into the security offered by Microsoft and Microsoft 365. I look forward to seeing you again soon.